Hello, you blokes. You bloke and bloke. You blokes and blokeettes. How we doing, beautiful people? What is good? We in the building. Y'all are not. I don't know where I was going with that, but what's good, everybody? We got all the homies in here. Tyler's in the building. Eagles is in the building. Wolves is in the building on both accounts. Lucky's in the building as well. What's good, everybody? We're going to be playing some NCAA once again, guys. What's good? What's happening, y'all? Yeah, she's in the building. Dark Knight Robin's in the building. What's good, everybody? How we feeling? How was your day, guys? Question of the day is, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mine's is probably cookies and cream. Luck be with you, guys. Well, thank you, Lucky. And also with you. Superman ice cream is... I don't know. What is Superman ice cream? I don't know the, the Superman ice cream bars or something. I don't even know. I don't even know, my boy. It's red, yellow, and blue. Okay. I kind of surmised that. I don't know if I'm using that word in the right context, but kind of figured that. But, you know. It's always good to ask questions like that, you know. You, you never know. All right, let's get into these games. So today, well, first and foremost, last stream, we beat Air Force, even though we didn't score in the second half at all. Then we got hoed against Oregon. If you guys watch the game, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we got absolutely hoed by the, or by the refs in that game. And then we beat Ole Miss in a game I didn't really take that seriously because I was really annoyed with the Oregon game. So we're going to do at least two games today. So we have BYU in the first game. Second game, we have New Mexico. And then we have Utah week nine. Then we have a bye week 10. So good for us. But we won this game. And we're going to be in the running. Or something. I don't know. Well, we win this game, we're going to be eligible, most importantly. But, you know. Just got to keep on winning. And I did bump up QB accuracy and receiver catching by two each. So, Fala shouldn't be as bad. Everybody else on the team shouldn't be as bad. Because, I mean, some of the things that were happening in those last two games was just really head-scratching. So, you know. Let's get it. And my boy Dark Spectre's in the building. What's up, Spectre? Quit playing with me, Dark Spectre. Dark Spectre. And let's get it started, baby. Good defense. Let's go. Two new promotions in your wrestling universe now. Let's go. Let's get it, Eagles. Oh, there we go, D. Ring of Honor and All Elite Wrestling. Okay. All right, Eagles bet. Oh, man. We got AE Dub. AE Dub. AE dub. Oh, they're gonna do that QB pass they love to do. Oh, let's go! Big shoddy Lee with the pick. They really tried it, bro. Man goes seven and two. Let's go, Eggnator. My man Egg out here balling. Ballin' ballin'. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. My boy has guardians in the building. What's good, fam? Let's get it on. Let's go, Burns. 
Let's go, Burn. Ooh, good run. Cookie Dough is, yeah, Cookie Dough is definitely up there for me. Cookies and Cream is my favorite, but Cookie Dough is definitely up there. I don't think Black IAP's halftime was good. I think they're overrated. I mean, they're they're they were good in like the early 2000s, but you know. Why are they separate? I want them to be separate companies, not together like in real life. Well, heck if I know Eagles. There we go, Agassi. See what happens when I bump up the sliders just a little bit. To where like these receivers don't just drop everything. Talking about the Super Bowl 45 halftime show, I barely remember the I barely remember Rihanna's performance, let alone that one. So I have no opinion. I do know Fergie had like a horrible performance at the All Star Game when she did the national anthem. <laughs> to the point motherfuckers were like laughing at her and shit I'm like bro that's how you know what your performance was ass when people are dead ass laughing at you like not even with you just like at you that was bad yeah it was awful honestly one of the worst music performances ever they're in the national anthem too, yeah. Thank you. Threw it right to him, bro. I gotta get a hot key for the replay buffer, honestly. tried to chew she's trying to make it about her not the usa right like she was trying way too hard to like you know vocal like i can't stand when people do that shit where it's like they try way too hard to like you know so like flex their vocal range i'm not much for the national anthem anyways but it's like bro if you won't do it like you don't gotta like go ham with it just do it do the damn thing. Let's go, Burns. Ooh, let's go. It's a quick way to get two scores up. That was a nice juke. That was ridiculous. Got to the outside. Just broke that boy's ankles. Big sign of the world, the promise of America. Hey. Ass salad. <laughs> he said ass salad. It's not even like the anthem itself. It's just how seriously people take it. Out here collecting broken ankles, bro. We got a whole bag of them now. No pause. No pause whatsoever. Ooh. They have awful field position now. Well, no wonder they didn't want to commentate this game because BYU is just ass salad in the words of my boy Spectre. How are you, Kaz? I'm doing pretty well, Spectre. I can't complain. Oh, get. Follow. Pick that, bro. 
Look at that pick number two right there. Doing good, man. Just grinding on Warren Frame. Good to hear, Asgardian. How is the grinding going on the good old Frame of Wars? Oh, Cody kind of alligator bodied that. That's all good. Got that alligator body. Gator boots. Do 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 do. But that's all right. Let's go, Fala. There we go. Didn't get the first time, but I'll take it the second time, bro. Two picks in the game so far for Fala. He's a bad mother Fala, bro. Devin Fala is out here balling. That's why they call him Fala the Baller. Well, they call both of them Fala the Baller. Getting some all the frames from the bosses with a few buddies. Good stuff. See, I mean, again, like I said yesterday, that's one of those games you got to have friends that play. Otherwise, you're just going to be lost in the sauce. You ain't going to know what to do with yourself. Oh, I juked way too late. Burns is having a good game, though. We'll let him get another tutty here. That's way too easy. Way too easy. Free score game, baby. I'm just collecting the frames for fashion. I ain't mad at it. Aesthetics are important. Damn, BYU is ass salad in the words of my boy Spectre. Major tutty for Burns, yup. Burns is burning it up right now. I just have a feeling Burns is gonna like develop really well in the offseason. Good tackle, let's go. Do 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 Cougars take over at the 19 yard line. BYU. BYU. Oh, we almost had a fourth pick in this first quarter. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Seven yard loss on the play. Third and long. Ball on the 12 yard line. Third and 17, they're going too wide. And we got another sack. Bro, oh, we almost had a scoop and score, too. Let's go. Let's see who got the sack there. It was Manning who came off the blitz. Off the edge. Got him. McCray was right there. Almost got the recovery, but... It's 4th and 25. Doesn't even matter. Oh, that's not a good punt at all. Agassi has some space. And we get the ball at the 23-yard line. We have a very good shot at making this 28 to nothing. And we're just now at the halfway point of the first quarter, too. Ooh, Fala gets away. And he slides down inside the 10. Let's get it. What's up, dude? What's up, Cam? How you doing, fam? We are demolishing BYU early on in this game. And all I did is just improve our QB accuracy and our receiver catching by two ticks. So it's not like I messed with the defense or nothing like that. 
And I definitely didn't mess with them at all. As Burns gets another touchdown. And it's it's a route. How you dude? I'm hopping on before BF uh, Battlefield One for a bit. Okay. I'm big chilling though. BYU getting it handed to him like for those tacky unis, right? Sit down. Uh, their quarterback is shook right now. Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. I mean, no one, no problems right now. Second and 10, ball on the 15 yard line. Oh. Uh, oh, he caught it. Come on, McCray. You got to come up and get that, bro. Gotta come up and get that, my boy. That's number seven's first completion. He went 0 for 7 with two picks to open up this game before finally completing that pass. Oh, and he nearly throws another pick. He's throwing two picks, and then the running back's throwing another one. That's why it says three, so it's not a glitch. In case any of you guys were wondering, tackle that bitch. There we go. Twenty so nothing in the first quarter. Second string going at halftime at this point, probably. I'm gonna be watching, not talking for a second. All gravy, bro. If you're playing a game, like I totally understand. Either way, like I appreciate you being here. Definitely much appreciated, much obliged. All oh, crap baskets. There we go. I thought he was going to take that outside. I didn't even realize that was third down, but okay. Fuck it. Fouquet. I mean, this is the first drive where our field position isn't going to be ridiculously good. Even with that terrible punt. Their punter is ass salad, in the words of my boy Spectre. The UNLV Rebels take over at the 28 zip. Could we make it 35? We'll have to see. I can't believe they didn't blow that up in the backfield because that D lineman was right on the right guard as he was pulling. Nearly destroyed that play, but we got two yards, so that's a win for me. Oh, good catch by Gorin. And he's short of the first down mark because he had to come back to it. Third and two. This is where you just go with what you know the best. And we'll go with the counter here. Oh, they shifted. I don't like that. Oh, we're not even close. Uh, we're just going to kick it away. We're not going to give him a chance to get some points here. Leave it in the hands of our defense. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Lovely. Probably should have just gone for it in that case, honestly. But oh well. Good tackle, Walker. Dupree. Dupree. 
Sacre Blue Dupree. This game's becoming too good. I can't trust that. I think he's going to do something. Me too, Eagles. There's always that chance, you know. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. I had Faller there. Oh, well, what a surprise. We didn't get the sack there, even though he got to the QB. So, maybe you were right, Eagles. Because that was wild. And I thought we had the sack, but my man didn't even get him. Marion got trumped by this dude, like, really? Ain't no way his break tackle is that high. Good tackle. This dude who use unleash <laughs> facts. He definitely use unleash. Unleash. Man uses game breaker out here. Oh, that was another. That was almost a third pick for Devin Falla. Devin Falla, the big baller. What the f oh my god, really? Lee went behind him. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Well, there goes the shutout. Oh. Oh. They're gonna get me for running into the kicker. Bumped him a little bit. Where are you? That's what I'm saying, Eagles. That man was like behind the receiver. Like, what are you doing? Get your life together, bro. Uh, oh, damn. He got smoked. All right. 28 to 7 at the end of the first quarter, though. Good run by Burns. It's up to 66 yards on 10 carries, and he has three touchdowns today. He's having himself a day. I just hope my character doesn't have concussions. Yeah, I mean, Kemba's pretty strong, so I don't think he'll get concussed. Oh, Goran. Come on, dog. If you can stay on the field and get the first down on a regular basis, the defense will tire, and that's when you attack. Let's go, Burns. All right, you got the first. Just trying to get a little bit more, but I probably should have just juked him instead of stiff warming. I forgot they actually have no cut. Yup, yeah, because BYU is so bad. They're just like, nah, we're not going to even bother. Agassi and he gets the first. There we go. Starting to cook up offensively now. Powerlessic facts. Uh, I'm just gonna run it. And Fall gets the first. Go wide receiver. Checks. If Goran and Agassi aren't open, we'll just check down the Collier. Yeah. Collier's wide open. There we go. Could you get commentators if it was on television? Yeah. If, if this was like a televised game, we'd get commentators. But since it's not televised, 
All we get is the PA announcer. Oh. All right, 21. Can you do something for me? 21. Can you do something for me? These people in Vegas are watching if it's not blacked out. Facts. There's Gorin. Let's go. Number eight on the reception. Eleven yard gain on the play. Let's go halfback option to the left. Ball on the twenty six yard line. Ooh, oh, oh. That almost ended up being really bad. Burns has just been killing him today, so he gets six yards instead of losing like five. Ball on the twenty yard line. Good run by Burns. Let's go counter to the right. Well, that could have been worse. He got back to the line, so that could have been a whole lot worse. Our running back's on fire. Yes, he is. Come on, bro. You got to throw that flag. Got to throw that flag there. You got to execute in this long yardage situation. Got to give him that flag. Bring it in there. That man was just definitely all over him. Oh damn! All right, we'll kick our field goal here. Give him a little bit of a break. You're a happy guy. What did you get as guardian? What did you end up getting? I'm gonna miss. Oh, I can't kick field goals to save my life anymore. I helped a friend of mine get a date next Friday. Can you help me get a get date as Guardian? <laughs> it's been, I'm joking. I'm not really even focused on dating right now at all. Way too much going on in my life to really entertain that type of thing. Somebody's gonna have to take an interest in me first and then I'll make the move afterwards. But nobody ever does, so it is what it is. But right, that's enough of that negativity. Uh. But I'm happy for your friend. That is pretty awesome, though. I'm happy for you, too, because that definitely has to make you feel good. Helping the homie out. Oh, let's go. My boy Snicket out here making plays. Third and five. Ball on the 25 yard line. Oh, crap. Oh, good defense. Let's go. That was close. That was close. The far side performing passing me by. <laughs> The far side playing passing me by halftime for this one. Facts. Oh, let's go, Agassi. On the run, too. Man, got a running start and had a good return. She said a friend of hers is single and then winked at me, so I may have date line. Ooh, okay. Let's go, Asgardian. I don't have friends like that, so. But I'm happy for you, bro. Oh, Slater's in the game, I just realized. Okay. Yeah, I, I hope that works out for you, Asgardian. That is definitely pretty awesome when you have a friend that will push you on. On 21, can you do something for me? Yes, you can. Thank you, sir.
It is an absolute bludgeoning right now. All this because I said to my friend, listen up, bud. I get you were scared out asking her out, but she has the feels for you, so go for it. See? That's how it's supposed to be, man. You know? As long as, like, y'all, like, you know, people just don't communicate shit anymore, where it's like, you know, somebody has feelings for you, and, or, like, you have feelings for them, they have feelings for you, like, no one ever communicates, and that's why shit never happens. Oh my god! Walker, get it! No! Oh, that was still awesome, though. Walker was so close to picking that up. Oh my god, BYU is in shambles right now. They have the ball at the one yard line. They are in absolute disarray. Oh crap. Good tackle, Cody. Oh, Cody's hurt after the tackle though. No. Oh no. Let's go, McCray. Kendrick McCray with the pick. Don't even care about dating anymore. I mean, I'd be lying to you just if I said I didn't care, but it's like, at this point, somebody just has to make it clear that they're into me, because I'm not chasing anybody anymore. You know, you have to, like, make, like, I'm not saying that you know, whoever I'm into has to make the first move, but it's just like, you know, at this point, if you don't make it abundantly clear, like you gotta smack me in the face with it. If you don't make me a, make it abundantly clear you're into me, bro, there's just not, it's, nothing's gonna happen. Because, you know, I've just wasted too much time with that type of thing. Oh, damn. Gotta throw it a little to the left follow, but okay. Like, unless, like, it's, like, like, I gotta get smacked in the face with it at this point, pretty much. Like, whoever it is, they gotta let me know off-rip. They're interested in me. And then we'll see where it goes. Come on, follow. Alright. Good run, regardless. They're just not putting a spy on this man at all. So you're just like, alright, if, if nobody's open, I'm just gonna run it. Oh. Yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and tell anybody else not to chase it. It is what it is. People are gonna do what they want to do. But for me personally, I'm not chasing anybody. It's like, you gotta just, like, smack me in the fucking grill with, hey, I like you, type shit, or like, I'm interested in you, somewhat, like, you gotta, like, just pimp smack me with it at this point, because, otherwise, it is what it is. Let's go, Burns. Four tutties for this boy. Four, count them, four touchdowns for Zach Burns, who started the season as the backup running back. BT dubs. Oh, the stars are smoking the Sabres right now. She said, hey, Nick, there's a friend of mine who may or may not be sending you a text soon about a date, so why not ask her first? Oh, must be nice. She can smack me in the face with some melt. You wild, Spectre. <laughs> you a wild boy, but I feel you. Burns going to end up player of the week at this pace. Yep. I don't even know if he's, like, close to 100 yards right now, because I threw the ball a little bit on that last drive. Let's see where he's at. He's at 97, so I'll give him a few more carries. And then we'll pull the plug on the first team offense and defense. You don't know if you got it going today? Yep. They're still in their bag over the Oregon game, so 
It's just wrong place, wrong time for BYU right now. Because they're getting smoked like a like a freaking... They're getting smoked like a backwoods right now. Oh! The ref got in that man's way. I feel you, 84. Trust me, trust me when I say I feel you. We still in Madden 05, looks like, Kaz. Are we? What up, BB? Brother Franchise. What's up, BB? I changed the title, but I forgot to change the game. Oof. Big oofers. Big sub oofers. Oh, the Sabres finally got a goal. Let's go. Ooh, god damn, follow. Sabres finally got a goal. They're down one to three now. What's up, pimp? Good god. Let's go, follow with another pick. I believe that is number three. In the game for Fala, number five for the defense as a whole. I swear to God, like this is all I changed with my sliders: just QB accuracy and receiver catching. That is it. The deep, their defense is still like elite though. Like, and my defense hasn't even changed anything either. I don't even know what's going on. We're just making plays. We're just making plays. We're making things happen. Also, BYU probably sucks a little bit too, but you know. I want to see what their QBs overall is right now. Fall is a 91 right now with a plus six, and then number seven is negative eight. So 12 is about to come to the game, bro. They have a guy named Handy, too. Turn it up to highs so prime time. No. It's like you won't come. Like first thing you do come, you, when you come in here is tell me to t change the difficulty. Like, get out of here. <laughs> oh, evening franchise. Yep, brother franchise is in here. I don't even get a what's up. How was your day? First thing you say is turn it up to fran franchise or turn it up to Heisman. Like, come on now, dog. <laughs> What's up, Pimp? Good God. Brother franchise is in the building. FG, you feeling any better, bro? Oh, damn. Tiny bit. Well, that's progress to me, at least. That is progress. So, Matt, so uh, actually, some stuff happened earlier. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Crap. Don't get caught. Hey, you got out of bounds. Let's go. Your boy may have a date lined up. Oh, you that's what you were just telling me, matter of fact. Yeah, my man has Guardian Body be having a date soon. Let's get it. I was trying to get him to block for me real quick. It's all gravy, though. Thank you for destroying BYU. Am I instead of 14 Dynasty? You have them in the Big 12. They keep screwing me in rush defense stats every season when I play them. Oof. Well, I'm glad I could be of some assistance, at least. My follow. Ah. Uh, so that should stop the clock. Ooh. Really special time. What the fuck? Agassi, you freaking bomb, bro. Oh my god, you're such a jabroni. You are such a fucking jabron. This man really just dropped it. Like, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> just <laughs> come on, man. Man's really just dropped it. 
You goofy goober. All right, well, could have been 49 to 2, but it's 42 or 49 to 7, but now it's 42 to 7 instead. Just smoking them right now. Number 83, back deep to return. I forgot to like do my little halftime spiel real quick. Doesn't matter. Walker's gonna get a big return. And they are just booing. The boo birds are coming out. They're not happy right now at all. Alright, so real quick, now that we got that return out of the way, for those of you guys who would like to give me some feedback, I recently came out with a questionnaire using Google Forms. So if you guys would like to, uh, oh, well, hold on, let me just drop the form in here, matter of fact. Hey, if you guys would like to fill that out, Trophy Case College Football, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Cray Click. Hope you're having a great day so far. But yeah, if you guys want to leave me some feedback using that form, absolutely feel free to. And yeah, we're going to keep this mofo rolling. And actually, it happened because I, I helped a friend of mine ask someone out. Hey, as Guardians are G. I'm having a terrific day, sire. Top of the morning, sire. Sire, hello? Oh, it's FG. Hi, FG. <laughs> I totally forgot. Brother Franchise out here making a secondary account. That's the name of his uh, YouTube channel as well. Big ups to Brother Franchise. I'm like, wait a minute. That's Brother Franchise. Bro, if we can score here, that'd be lovely. Good run by Burns. Good God. Hey, good God indeed. Man's cut off, got caught off guard with the sire. Yeah. Oh, wait, sire. Hello. Ah. Uh, oh, lion. Yeah, I gotta help out, Miss Fala, a little bit. They have one of the worst defenses in the nation. Burns, the ball carrier, five yard gain on the play. Third and fifteen. Ball on the forty three yard line. Oh. Oh, damn, that was almost a pick. The only following a real ones on that account. Well, thank you, FG. That makes oh, real one, guys. You hear that? Your boy is a real one. I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like that, and I had to shine like this to do something like that. Oh, that's another terrible punt. Yes, you're. Wait a minute. He <laughs> said, "You're my sire." In the words of FG, hey yo. Wait, Daddy Chill. What the hell is even that? Oh, you whore. You dirty, rotten whore. Shit's corny, bruv. Shit is just corny, bruv. Sit down, ho. Shit's corny. Hard R in that tube. Wait a minute. Okay. My sire. What up, my sire? Hey, yo. 
Say hello to the bad guy, man. Ooh, that shouldn't be a first. Whore. Oh, yeah, whore. Quit playing with me, whore. Quit playing with me, BYU. And he's going to make it. Must be nice to have a kicker who can make field goals. 42 to 10. I'm telling that quarterback in this situation to look at the defense and audible to a better play if he has to. There's no better play than this. Oh, if my left tackle could have got a pancake there, she she would have been to the casa, baby. You only got a few yards to go for the first, so you just need to rifle a ball in there. Third and four. Ball on the 28-yard line. Back when BRU didn't look like a knockoff Penn State. Facts. There's Agassi. There we go. What is good, Mr. Ice Pick? How are you doing, my guy? My man, Ice Trey the Gang. Ice Trey the Gang. It's the ice pick. You're good? Good to hear. I'd run the ball here. Just pick up the first down, move the sticks, and continue to move the football. Good run by Burns. Let's go. Just finishing this ch Chetty. Cherry Coke, I'm guessing. Cherry Coke zero. Hell yeah. Cherry. Oh, crap. Bro, block him. Ah. Oh. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Look at Slater just powering through. Man, he's going straight beast mode out here. Beast mode pimping. You just went to mess with Clank. <laughs> hey, my boy Clankity Clank. Clankity Clank, Clankity Clank, Clankity Clank, Clankity Clank. Follow them and he asks, what's your favorite college football team? And here's like, whatever Rutgers' biggest rival is. You told him the Rhode Island School of Design. <laughs> They got Scrody the Scrotum. I'm dead. And Slater gets a touchdown. I wasn't really trying to score there, but I ain't mad at it. Ice just backed you. I'm dead. I am sleep. Alright, let's get the backups in. You do recruiting. Um, we don't recruit until like the end of like until after the season in this game, just because that's just how this game is. So they don't allow you to re like. You only recruit a after the season. 
unfortunately. Yo, we're just gonna take Lazarus as a... Uh, actually, no, nah, we'll just keep Slater in. And then Burns will get some burn if need be. Hey. Running backs are eating tonight. Guess I should too. Hey. I feel that lucky. There we go. Well, we're making all of our extra points at least, so Harmon's not doing too bad. It's just that missed field goal is like damn near unforgivable. But you know. Been 15 years since you play that game, you forgot. I feel you. Yeah, 06 was the first one that you could recruit during the season, but like 05 you couldn't, unfortunately. They got their backup, or they got their, um, we have our backup set, and I should say. Second and six. Ball on the 27-yard line. We have a strong safety playing tackle right now. What the fuck? Aw, oh, damn, Thad overran him. Thad Castle. No gain on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. Oh, he fumbled it. Get it. Get it. Oh, they got it. And Hill almost got the first. Good lord. I mean, I was trying to fight forward for the first. Alright, so Walker is now returning punts. Okay. Kind of liked it back then because if you did really good, you have a lot more people wanting to go to you. And like at the beginning of both you, uh, both year, both ways is so cool though. Yeah, they're both great in their own ways. Twenty-five yard punt, fair catch made at the forty-two yard line. Ugh. I'd run the counter and play with the defense a little bit. And the defense is just gonna be like, quick play with me, bro. At the forty-two yard line, first and ten. <laughs> Oh, Burns is still getting carries. Okay. Five yard gain on the play. This pitch play is a good call here. I'd get my guy psyched up the block out there. Alex Moran is now in that quarterback though. If you know, you know. Oh, Burns, you bum. <laughs> At least you got your own recovery back. Anytime you can convert these short yardage plays and stay on the field, you're setting the tempo of the game. And Collier won't even get close. All right, I know it's a blowout, but you guys know the drill. We're still going to put our fours in the chat. We're still going to put our fours all up in the chat. Full, 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 Now we're going to go for it because why the fuck not, Curtis? Why the fuck not, Curtis? Ball on the 50-yard line. There's 89. Number 89. Four, 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 life. In this situation, you gotta trust. Oh, we are gonna let Moran pass another pass. That was his first completion of his career, actually. Right there. Oh, Moran, Moran got some speed. Uh oh. Moran with the carry. Good run by Alex Moran. I like running here in this situation. It's a safer play. Ooh, nice spin by Burns. Okay. On the carry. Gain of four on the play. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. 
Start of the second period. Stars lead the Sabres 3-1. to one. That is disgusting. Burns on the run. Sabres got to get together. You can't be losing to the Stars, man. You got to come away with a touchdown here. You don't want to settle for a field goal. Let's just QB sneak this. And Moran gets the touchdown. I was just trying to get the first down, but he gets a tutty. Two running backs named Dupree. Don't ask too many questions, but do you play other college games on stream or is it 05 your fave? I played 06 for a while on stream as well. And I played 08 at one point too. Um 05 is just like what I'm currently playing. Like obviously like after a few years, like once we've established like a dynasty here, I'm probably gonna move back to 06 or maybe play 04. There we go, we got a sack. Number 72. Sack. On the play. Second and long. Ball on the ten yard line. <sighs> oh, good hit. I got you new here seeing what's up. Hey, no, Cameron, that's a totally valid question, bro. To that's actually a very valid question. No need to apologize. You're good. Very valid. I don't think. Yep, you didn't get a foot in. 56 to 10 is crazy. I'm so much no matter what. I appreciate you, fam. All right, we're gonna let that bounce actually, and it bounced in their fa in my favor. Fifty six ten, golly, bro. BYU is straight up dog water. What's good though, Param? How you doing, fam? Param Crow. The goat, yes, the goat indeed. The actual goat is here. Big factual things. Chill, man. How y'all doing? Hey, I, I can't complain. I got a good gym session today. Uh, now we, now we live. And we're gonna do the same thing more. We're gonna go to the gym. Well, I gotta finish my laundry like during this series. Love, love, love the Dolphin series. Ooh. Dolphins. Number 21 makes the reception. Gain of 12 on the play. First and 10. We might have to put the third stringers in at this point, bro, because even the second stringers are cooking up right now. Come on, Burns. Lunging into the building. Good God. Good God. Second and six. Ball on the 18 yard. Quick plan with me, bro. Oh, damn. That's not a good throw, Moran. I'd get the ball in the hands of my go to receiver here and let him get the first. Now we're going to pitch it out to Burns and let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. burn. Gotta let it burn. Gain of four on the play. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. This man already missed a field goal from this range. I'm good off that. He's gonna run the counter. Left side. 
Oh, Burns is gonna get there, possibly. Oh, I don't think he got there. They gave it to him, okay. I did not think he got it, but okay. In the red zone, it's harder to spread out the defense because there's not a lot of room. Slater's in the game the now. Play, you can find some holes in the D. Oh, I thought Slater was going to score again. This is by far the best game we've had on the ground so far this season. And it's not even close. Man, so you can find the holes in the D, bro. Let you find some holes in my D, it's going to get wicked. I said what I said. Nah, I gotta actually pull up the mic. But let you find some holes in my D, it's gonna get wicked. I'd pitch it to my back and have him turn the corner. Remember, you only have to break the plane of the goal line to get six. That was just way too easy. This whole team is just free. 62 now, pending the extra point. But this has been an absolute throttling of BYU. Who's next? Uh, you, not Utah, New Mexico. So New Mexico is really bad too. So this might be, it might be a repetition of this game. And then we have Utah, who no longer has Alex Smith at quarterback, so. I mean, this whole conference is just free. Do for some good things. I mean, I'd like to think so. Had no ball player. On my no wall upon your oh man. Tragic. Somebody must have raided that boy. Dupree on the run. Five yard gain on the play. I expect Oregon to be the only loss here. And I hope so. But you guys just trying to stay busy, head down and work kind of thing. I'm right there with you, Perrin. And like you're bad, A. Hey, I forgive you this time. This quick playing with me, Dark Spectre. I forgive you, but quick playing with me, Spectre. But yeah, I'm just trying to, like, you know, focus on content creation, streaming, and shit. Oh, he fumbled it. Oh, yeah, they got it back, though. Alright, well. They're waving the white flag around. They're saying, we can't do it. We can't take this no more, man. Oh. They basically said, bro, I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. I don't watch a ton of YouTube anymore. Actually, watch some Vunk, GG9, Paramcast, about it. We on Miles Hawkins is considering. I mean, bro, it, this is the this is the wave. Especially if Madden 24 ends up being another dud, bro. This is the this is the way. This is the way, and I ain't talking about the Mandalorian, bro. This is the fucking way. I'm trying to tell people, y'all might as well get on this wave. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Mando. <laughs> that is a great show, though. Mandalorian is very slept on. Yeah, we're just going to take Lazarus's damn thing off. Just so we actually have more running backs to use. I keep pushing that QB. That, oh, that 08. That 08. My fault. I, why did I read that as QB? Play Madden 24 on Gamefly. Gamefly is still a thing. 
I didn't even know Gamefly was still a thing, but all right. No gain on the play. Gamefly is still a thing. They're probably going to call a timeout if we don't get this first down because they're crusty and ashy. They're crusty, ashy, musty, dusty, and not trusty. All right, that's game. We're not going to find out. But, but knowing the AI in this game, I know they were going to call a timeout. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off. Man, what is really stupid with a 53-point lead? It's not like... It's not as if, you know, we're in any peril of losing this game. Nah, they're going to get 53 points in, like, the last five seconds of the game for sure. You already know. That would be wild. I mean, it's obviously impossible, but, you know. What we know about the new NCAA game returning in 2024, there will be over 120 FPS schools. Not every school will sign up, though. The game will have Road to Glory mode and Dynasty mode. The game will have certain sounds, traditions, stadiums, uniforms for each team. They are approaching the game to not be a clone of Madden. Well, that's good. That is Gucci. No picks, baby. Let's go. Only one turnover, and it was freaking Agassi being a dum dum. Being a dum dum lollipop. All right, let's take a look at these stats, folks. This ain't Madden 22, so I think the score will be reported accurately. I'm, sh I'm sharp. Nah, it's going to end up showing me losing 10 to nothing like Madden 22. But Fala, 12 of 19, 129 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Alex Moran went two of three, 23 yards. Zach Burns, 174 on and four touchdowns on 36 carries. Fala had 59 yards and seven carries. Slater, 52 yards and a touchdown and 11 carries. Moran, 30 yards and a touchdown on two carries. And then let's see drops. So nobody registered a single drop. Let's go. I'm here for it. Defense barely even played, but 72, Manning and McCray all had sacks. Fall had three picks. Kendrick McCray had a pick. And Colby Big Shotty Lee had a pick. And then we had three forced fumbles. Didn't recover any of them because we're ugly. They went 5 of 21, 104 yards, a touchdown, and four picks. Lord have mercy. Good to see like the CPU get cheese sometimes because honestly it feels like the cheese is very one-sided sometimes and it just breaks my little heart. You know. The cheese just be cheesing me. Alright. It's been over an hour. It's time for me to stand up real quick. We're gonna get to like the spot where I save everything real quick and then we'll Get up. Damn, I didn't realize Thad got hurt too. Good lord. Thad Castle. Ugh. We're at level 13 on the EA BIOS stuff. On the EA Sports Bio thing, we're at level 13. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go get my laundry out of the laundry room and I'll be right back. We're going to play some good old Harris Heller tunes, and I'll be back, y'all.
All right, guys, we're back. We are back. What is good? All righty. So now we take on New Mexico in week number eight. All right, so number two went down. Oh, number one, no, Florida lost to LSU. Sheesh. What's LSU ranked? If they're ranked at all. Oh, we're still receiving votes, votes, votes in the coaches' bowl. We're at 131. Let's go. LSU's ranked 11th now after beating good old Flow Rider. FSU's finally ranked. They started 1 and 3. Good lord. And we're 18th in the nation now. And the media poll. So Oregon's 3 and 2. God damn. Damn, they got smoked by Washington. Good lord. And then USC is undefeated still. They're number four. Then, let's see players of the week. Damn. At least Burns is a player of the week in the Mountain West. And Chris Leak's nasty ass is number one. And the Heisman vote. I got a protein shake, y'all. Let's go. Oh, we have to suspend somebody. Lovely. Number 21. He missed the study group. Okay. It's not that egregious. We'll suspend him for a quarter. I'm probably not going to need him against New Mexico anyways. Plus, this just opens up Boston to possibly have a big game. Let's go. All right, the music's paused. Let's get it. Oh, Kemba just overran him. Good lord. Hey. 
All right, good tackle, Paula. I have to watch this man because he's scrambling now. Oh, there we go. Good defense. Swarming that man. Good job, Wire. Good old three and out there. Good old three and out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Big dot, oh no. Thank god that one had a bounce, because good lord, bro. You know you're right there. Now smelling it and tasting it are two different things. You gotta be able to taste the end zone, because it means six points. I'll take it. Three yard gain on the play. You just got to make sure that you're gaining positive yardage on a run because you're almost there. Second and seven. Ball on the 15 yard line. Burns, the ball carrier. Three yard gain on the play. Everyone should know this one. Now yep, we're definitely passing it here. Third and four. Oh, that was really close. That was so close. In this situation, I challenge my offensive line to get enough of a push to give you a touchdown. Come on, Burns. Up, oh, get there. He got it. Let's go. There we go. Good first drive for our offense. Get him. Well, I just had, I had to finish that protein. Uh, words. I had to finish my protein shake real quick, but I'll be able to talk a little bit more now that it's over. Who is still in here with your boy, and how are you doing if you're in here? Oh, damn. That was my zone. Got another stream scheduled already. Hey, you already know, man. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Uh, 
a good tackle. It just means more. What's up, SEC, SEC? What's up, Addison? How's it going? You went the Bengals last night? Um, it was a cr it was a pretty close game. We were losing a good by a good amount, and then we came back and won. Hell of a second half from us. Second and six now. Ball on the 38 yard line. Oh, good tackle by Fala. By Fala, la 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 la. Oh, you pass out? Yeah, I feel you. It was, it was a pretty long stream. Actually, no, it was as long as my usual streams are, but. Got two games in. Oh, there we go. I don't know who got him, but... It was Marion who got him. Okay. Just got off the line, just straight up molly whopped him. Let's go, Rollins. He burned it down right there. SEC, true. wasn't to you. Should have just let Goran catch it, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, that was a big time dot right there. Had to split the defense real quick. It's in the middle. On Burns. Oh, he juked out the defender. Okay. That wasn't a first, but still a good run. Damn, the stars are up five to two over the Sabres. Golly. Look here, look, listen. Good run, Burns. Let's go. Burns is burning up the defense today. Oh, God damn. Second and 14, ball on the 38-yard line. The fastball's incomplete. Bruh. Later, the intended receiver on the play. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. 
I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Oh, Slater. Let's go, baby. My man Slater. Out here slaying the team. He's out here slaying the Lobos. How did he drop that? Hey, the hell if I know, Addison. No idea. Uh, I tried to pitch it last second, and it didn't work out for you, boy. Second and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. Oh, McCringleberry is wide open. That is too easy. That is way too easy. They got confusion. That man just got a wide ass open. Hingle McCringleberry out here getting the touchdown. I don't think they ever had anybody on him. They just left that boy wide open. And to be honest, I probably could have thrown it to Boston and it'd still be a touchdown. They got to put us in the Pac-10 next year, bro. They have to. I guess Kaz is going to be smoking that New Mexico pack by the time that's this one's over. It's looking that way. It is certainly looking that way. Still got some game left, and it's not as much of a blowout as the first game was, but we're well on our way to getting it done. Good tackle. The New Mexico Lobos. Last play of the quarter, and he goes down for the sack. It was number 94 who got him. Happy Thursday to you as well, Brock. How's it going? Let's go, we got another sack. To be fair, it's probably not much to New Mexico to smoke. That's wild. But not inaccurate. Good tackle, snake it. There we go. Are you playing Madden? You're playing Madden 22 on PS4. Nice. Good to hear. Y'all even smoke so much. There's not much left. That's. Good punt. Well, Stadium Pulse, nothing beats the Southeastern Conference in that category. Oh, boy. I saw you were like an old Miss fan. Okay. Well, wouldn't you like to know what happened to them when we played them? <laughs> At least in the series. I mean, I know like they've been pretty solid. At, they've been pretty good as a program over the past few years, IRL, but kind of rolled up that old Miss pack last stream.
How I love Madden 05. That was the best football game of all time. PS2 next. I disagree. Um, ESP NFL NFL 2K definitely clears Madden 05. The only reason I'm really playing oh, uh, Madden 05, Cash Hedgecock. That's quite the name. The only reason I'm playing Madden 05 over ESP NFL 2K5 is just uh, draft classes. Otherwise. ESPN NFL 2K5 clears Madden 05, and it's not even close in my opinion. Oh, that was dangerous. Danger! You gotta pound it and pound it. Hedgecock is out for the game. They have an injured cock, apparently. Good run by Burns. We kind of got away from him a little bit on the past few drives, but now... Or not in the past few drives, on this drive, I should say. Doing sim franchises on Madden 23 myself. Facts. And it looks great. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this game looks like ass salad. Well, this game plays way better than the game you're playing, so... Fuck off, Spectre. How about that? Quick plan with me, Dark Spectre. Quite a big 10 schools in Notre Dame up there, tough place to play. Yeah, facts. Quite a few, yeah. I, I figured that's what you meant, Ice. But yeah, Ohio State and Michigan are definitely up there. That is why. Here we go. I don't play it. Hey. Well, my sentiments exactly. Mr. Spectre. Larry Fitz, yup. So, in the words of Striving Skate, quick play on me, Dark Spectre. Good block. Come on, Burns, get to the corner. Let's go. Let's fucking. Why as much? Like, bro, I did chest and triceps on Tuesday. Of wine ass. Spurgeon skate, I mean. <laughs> Whining skate. <laughs> Crying skate, even. Take the mutt bonuses and shove them up the ass. Hey, talk to him, Specka. Ah, uh, Spec Specka. Who's Specka? Specter. My fault. Talk to him, Dark Specter. Dark Spectre. Better tell him to quit playing with you, bro. Spectre, if you ever become a streamer, you definitely gotta get an ass, like, an ass salad, uh, thing. <laughs> I, I, I feel like Twitch would probably blow it away before you could, though. Can't see it in Spectre. <laughs> Spec. Damn, Ice. Oh, good defense, Walker. Let's go. Who's my favorite football player in the 05 for the Texas? That is a very specific question. But probably Vince Young, because he ended up playing for my favorite NFL team. Very specific question, but a very welcome question as well. But probably VY. Time to add to my band. That's crazy. You about to put Ice Pick up there with Baby Back Barrett, though? That's crazy. With, with Triple B? Nah, but I definitely have a lot more respect for Spectre, who's obviously just playing around. Then some of these fucking yuppies that come in here talking all this shit about like how this game looks. Meanwhile, they're playing garbage ass Madden. They're actually playing like the garbage ass Madden 23 game and are like pretending it's fun, bro. Like, get y'all asses out of here. And I think I just hurt their quarterback. I mean, I, I kind of got tired of accounting for his running ability, so okay. Kichi. 
Kichi. Thank you for the alert, Kichi. I appreciate you, homie. Kichi, she be sniping. She gets, oh no, Kichi gets them dubbies. She be sniping. I'm gonna come up with like an actual remix in my feelings for you, Kichi. Like, a whole time. That That's just like a snip, that's a snippet of it. Like, you know, like, so FG, I'm gonna have to steal FG's idea, like, about, like, intros, like, once I get a better PC. But that's, like, probably gonna be, like, Kichi's intro, like, me just doing, like, a rendition of In My Feelings. Just having to do it, like, just, like, kind of parodying it, and just referencing the fact that Kichi's, like, absolutely cracked at Todd, so. By the way, that's a plug for Kichi, go drop her a follow, that's my home girl. She be killing it. She plays a lot of different games, actually. She plays COD, she plays Valorant sometimes, plays Fork Knife sometimes, and also HL as well. Not NHL, but H Legacy. Stealing ideas from st quote unquote stolen ideas. <laughs> you already know, Ice. But the difference is, I mean, First and foremost, as long as I give FG credit and like don't be like, oh, this is my idea completely. FG, I'm sure FG would be cool with it. But at the same time, it would be like my idea of intros for me would be like kind of like piggybacking off of what FG's intro was is for me, which is like literally one of my songs. And I just like make like random ass like, you know, 15 or 20 second songs for everybody. Like, I just pick honestly, I think either I do like kind of like my own rendition of like something persona wise, or I just do a remix of Ice Tray by Migos and Lil Yachty for you. Um, I don't know, like just some ideas though. I don't know if I'd actually go through with it either, but you know, I feel like it'd be a good idea. Just like literally make it like a custom intro song for people. But then Triple B is probably gonna try try to say that I'm copying him as well. I should just say he's copying me because he's doing YouTube videos. <laughs> I can watch some instrumental persona songs that already have the lyric versions. A. Hey, that'd be dope. Twenty-one. Can you do something for me? Now that you're back in the game. Something like Bloomin' Villain. I got you. Kind of blacked out after you said that in twenty-three. What was I saying? Um. Now, is it really going to be indicative of how bad my mem my short-term memory is if I tell you I don't remember? My man Slater's killing it. I think I was talking about. Kind of like, you know, piggybacking off of FG's intro idea and just doing like intro songs for people. And well, piggybacking off of his intro for me, I should say, because his intro for me is like one of my original songs, so. Or at least like it has my clips and it has like my, like a song that I made, so. My man Epic's in the building, my man Bass. Epic, what is good, my guy? How did the rest of your stream go, Epic? I was I was watching it for a little bit before I went to the gym. Um, I saw you you were doing a Stanford Dynasty in NCAA 05, I believe it was. 
And then you continue to text in this franchise in, in Madden 03. But I don't know how many of y'all use TikTok, but definitely go follow my boy ba uh, Base Epic. Oh, there we go, Slater. Epic actually has his own Discord server, which is geared towards like retro gaming. So if you guys enjoy retro, definitely go check him out. How's the gym? It was a long session, bro. I was in there for like two hours. Almost two and a half hours. It was like two hours. But it was leg day today, so I had to get it get it done, you know. There we go, Slater. This is a blowout. Again, I know Primetime came in saying I was turning on the Heisman. If you've watched any of the games I've played in this frame or in this dynasty, you'll understand why I'm not bumping it up to, to Heisman. I'll mess around with the sliders, make it harder that way, but I'm not bumping the Heisman. Because I'm not going to make a single extra point on Heisman. I can tell you all about that right now. I'm probably going to miss this one. Like, I have a hard enough time kicking on all pro. Like, ain't no way I'm bumming up the Heisman, bro. Because <laughs> I'm going to miss literally every kick. Every punt's going to be a shank. I'm good off that. Playing the workout for two hours today. Hey, bro, get it. These old games whipped that ass on Heisman, I remember. I'm not even worried about that, really. Because I play Madden 07 on all Madden. But it's like... The cheese on all Madden is ridiculous. So I'd rather just play all pro and just have really hard sliders. Like, I'll literally, I'll literally show you guys the sliders I play on. I showed you guys earlier, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys as well if you guys want to do a series in this. But yeah, I had to bump up QB accuracy by two just because follow is messing up. I'm just going to bump it back to one. Catching has to be up here because otherwise they just drop the most ridiculous passes ever. And then, like, these are up here too. And then we go to the offense. Passing accuracy is ridiculous. Max, receiver catching is maxed out. And then run, running back ability and run blocking are damn near maxed out as well. And then pass blocking is, like, meh. Then the defense's awareness is up, knockdowns are up, INTs are actually up. That that is like unheard of on slider sets. INTs are usually like zeroed out, but in this game on All Pro, I can't do that because they're never gonna get any picks. Then break block is high, tackling's high. So, and then look at mine, knockdowns are zeroed, awareness is damn near zero, INTs are bumped down, tackling is really low, and then break blocking is like. I think one tick below the default. So, you know, that's why I'm not playing on Heisman, bro. Because <laughs> like, I can't find Heisman sliders anywhere anyways. So, you know, can't wait for WrestleMania 39. Who's my favorite WWE? My favorite wrestlers in WWE? Um, Women's division is Becky Lynch, obviously. Bianca Belair. Asuka. Um... I'm actually starting to become a very big fan of Gigi Dolan as well. She's freaking awesome on the mic. And it's crazy. I feel like her being in Toxic Attraction actually held her back on the low. Because she is a freaking beast in the ring. And she's really good at promos. So I'm glad we're seeing more of her personality now that her and JC Jane have split up. And obviously, Mandy Rose isn't with the company anymore. Oh, crap. What up, Sammy? How's it going, my dude? Eh, I already let too much time elapse. I'm just going to take it to the half. We're up 28 nothing over New Mexico. Also, another thing as far as the sliders. So, going back to what your question was, Brock. Those are my favorite female wrestlers. Favorite male wrestlers, Seth Rollins. Um, AJ Styles is like one of my favorites of all time. I'm trying to think, it's going bad. Your mom's going to go to the hot. What's going on, Sammy? What happened? Ah, uh, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else. So Seth Rollins, AJ Styles. Um. Trying to think of some other people that I can think of. Um, I actually like Chad Gable a whole lot. Actually, Chad Gable's killing it. 
Sami Zayn has definitely improved a lot. I used to think he was just really vanilla, but Sami, since he joined the, since he like changed, since he turned heel, turned it up, and now he's like really over as a face. Cody Rhodes is obviously like one of my favorites as well, and Kevin Owens um, is kind of what I want. Like his style is kind of what I want to do. Or I want to be a big man who like does like you know certain like athletic things as well. Gigi was one of the bigger girls left in the Indies after AEW formed. Yep, she was also formerly date. She used to date Darby Allen as well. Well, Gigi came a long way from being known as a girl who pulled out the tampon during a match at the Indie show. People were like really morally grandstanding about that too, and I'm like, bro, she did it to get heat. And she did exactly what she was like trying to do, and it wasn't actual blood; like it was a prop. So people are just, oh my god, you're why are you defending her? Well, why are you crying about it so bad, bro? Like it's wrestling. Like most of the shit they do is purposely to piss you guys off, and they're doing their fucking job. Cry about it. The Undertaker and Randy for you; those are two really good ones. Love Edge as well. Edge is definitely like. Edge isn't one of my favorites, but I definitely appreciate what he has done. And then Taker is one of the greatest of all time. So is Randy. Favorite ice cream. So, ba- uh, base said vanilla. Vanilla is always perfect. People complain about vanilla. Like, oh, it's just so plain. Sometimes it's good to keep it simple, though. You know what I'm saying? Rocky wrote a mint chocolate. Well, first of all, what's good, Quickie? I didn't even say hi to you. How are you doing today, Quickie? Rocky Road, I can get down with mint chocolate. I just mint chocolate ice cream. It's not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's just mid to me. She had an operation last week and she was in pain in the spot. They did it, and she might be having complications from it. Well, I will keep your mother in my prayers, Sammy. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. We 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 definitely got prayers for you over here. I know prayer prayer doesn't do a whole lot, but it's like it's something at least. Uh, they were married. That's right, they were married. Okay. I didn't realize they got married, married. Okay. Taker's number one for you. Taker's number one for a lot of people, bro. I mean, Taker was amazing in his prime. Even, like, in his late prime, like, he was doing really well in matches. Both of his matches with Shawn Michaels were great. All three of his matches, or three, two of his matches, his two matches with Trips were pretty good as well. I got three different pints in the fridge. Well, what flavors you got? My boy John Jake Game is in the building. What's up, JJ? Give old John Jake a follow. But speaking of John Jake Gaming, so John Jake Gaming is also somebody who is a retro gamer and he plays a lot of indie games as well. And he has a really dope NCAA Next series. Now, some of you guys who know Optimus Klein, like Lucky, obviously I met you through Klein. Uh, JJ does something very similar to Klein on his YouTube channel where he has like kind of like an he has an FCS dynasty and he's it's basically just like overviewing like he's not controlling any one team it's just like looking at this like you know he's doing CPU 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 versus CPU for all the games so if you guys are interested in that type of thing JJ has that he also has a uh, dynasty as well so go to give JJ a look. What is good though, JJ? How are you feeling, bro? Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is what your favorite all time. It's not a bad all time favorite to have. Mint chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and cinnamon apple. I've never had cinnamon apple. I'm actually interested. Thank you. No problem, Sammy. Just keep your head up, bro. We are here for you. He's always world champion in my universe mode. Take, the- I feel you, Taker. Yeah. From like 2018 to August 2020. Ooh. Um, the Sabres got another goal, so they're down by two. I'm doing good, and I appreciate the love, by the way. Anytime, JJ. New Mexico is being given the business right now, I see. We're beating the best. We're beating the brakes off of them. Vanilla and Cookie Dough, both solid options. Chris Benoit was your favorite. Benoit was actually, like, I went back and watched some of his matches. I know, like... After he passed, and it's like, I definitely get why he was like, you know, so many people loved him because he was so good in the ring. But it's like, while I do believe that, like, you know, to some extent, that you should, you know, you can like the artist but hate, like, you can hate the artist but love the art. I, I mean, 
we can all appreciate Benoit for what he did in the ring, but obviously what he did to his wife and son, you know, he definitely should be, like, wiped from wrestling history the way he is. And it's hard because he's been a part of so many, so, so many big moments. Like, obviously, him and Eddie Guerrero were, like, best friends and whatnot. But, you know. At the end of the day, what he did was fucking horrible, and he deserves to be canceled straight up. And I don't, you cannot blame a single person for wanting them to rest and shit, pretty much. 21! Can you do something for me? Man, I'm gonna clip this, and I'm talking about Crispin Wah during that play. Good lord. Oh well. I'll just censor, like, <laughs> and I'll put, like, some music in the background until, like, I actually start talking about 21. Fantastic wrestler, shitty guy, unfortunately. So, it's funny. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but y'all know the story that Miz always tells about how he got kicked out of the locker room because he was eating a piece of chicken over somebody's bag? Well, that person was Chris Benoit. <laughs> so... They're like, and he basically he was just spazzing out over it, like chicken being apparently eaten over his bag or something like that. I mean, the signs were there that he just wasn't a good person for sure, but you know, back then it was kind of hard to tell. I guess I don't know. It's easy to look in hindsight and say, well, yeah, like this dude had a pattern of just like shitty behavior towards people, but you know. It's sad that we found out just how bad he really was and it, like at the expense of the lives of two innocent people, but, you know. That right there, I can definitely understand, like, not respecting the artist or the art because of what he did. And I just think it's goofy as hell that there are still people who defend him nowadays. Steroids and drugs, man, plus alcohol. I'm sh I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure that plays a role in that, but there are plenty of people who have done all that who haven't killed people. What's up, Kaz? Ain't been in the stream in a while. What's up, D-Sizzle? Welcome to the stream, then. Welcome back to the stream, I should say. How's it going? Oh my god, clankity clank though. T Clizzle Pimp Pizzle, my man T Clank24 in the building with the raid. T Clizzle, thank you so much, my boy. What is up, T Clank? Clankity clank. How was your stream, bro? I know you were playing some Fortnite for a little bit. Like, I was lurking like when I got home from the gym. But, you know, how to show you some love, my guy. I appreciate the love, bro. Thank you so much. If you guys aren't following my boy Clankity Clank, aka T Clank, I need to go drop him a follow. He is another guy in the NCAA community, and he's in the NWO. And overall, T Clank's just a solid dude in general. I don't know what else to say. I'm bad at like these. Like I'm bad at selling other people. <laughs> you know. I thought it said I timed you out for a second. Well, like, wait. I'm just trying to shout you out. <laughs> like that scared me for a second. People defending Benoit are the same as the whole Hitler did nothing wrong crowd to me. I wouldn't go that far, but I can see where like where you're coming from with that take though, Lucky. Worst wrestling that yeah, facts. Um Crippler had severe brain damage from what I remember. I mean, but I know but I get it, Spectre. And I'm sure that played a role. But there are so many people who have had brain damage over the years who just didn't I mean God rest his soul. I hate to bring him into this conversation because I feel like we should let him rest because he was a good person. But Junior Seau didn't kill anybody else. You know. He unfortunately just unalived himself, which is still just sad as hell. But he didn't take anybody with him. God rest his soul once again. But it's like, that's that's why, I like, you know, I, while I understand that, you know, when there are people like Junior Seau who didn't bring anybody else down with him, and his suffering. It's like, it's hard to really let that be. It might be the explanation. It's hard to let that be an excuse for what Ben Raw did. I know you're not trying to excuse him by saying that. I'm just, I'm just personally saying. I know you didn't say it. I'm just saying that, you know. Uh. I, I read 
that already. It's going all right. Currently writing while trying to decide. Hold on one sec. Sorry, Sizzle. Trying to decide if I need to spend the last bit, little bit of money I have to spare on the new wrestling game coming out. Hey, bro, save it. Up. Save your money. I mean, I would just wait until like you can actually afford it comfortably. Like if until you can buy it twice, I would just wait. That's like the cardinal rule. That was a question. Oh, it was a question. Okay. It's definitely one of the worst wrestling deaths. So. The last Eddie hit him hard. Well, I get that too. A lot of us have like lost people, and we haven't like just gone on like you know warpath. So maybe it was a combination of everything, but it's like still like. I find it hard to like allow myself to like you know have any sympathy for him because of what like because of what he did to his family. Oh, that should have been a pick, Cody. I shouldn't have used him. I should have just let him do his thing. Yeah, I know like Eddie's death definitely like you know tore him apart, but you know I'd say Eddie or Owen. Owen probably is like the saddest. Eddie's was really sad too. But like Owen's like happening because of WWE's just like ineptitude at the time was like, you know, what's what made Owen's like so sad. Cuz I mean, obviously there are ways you could have avoided Eddie's death and like what Benoit did as well. Uh, I don't know. But it's like... Owens could have been, like, a lot more preventable than, like, the other two. Chris should not have taken the vent. Honestly, as fucked up as it's gonna say, I actually agree with you, Ishii. I'm sure a lot of other people would agree with you. Like, if really, like, you know, somebody had to go in that situation, he should have just, you know... I'm not even gonna go that far, honestly, but yeah, like, I, I, I definitely agree with that, yes, she, Owen should have been prevented, period, yeah, 100%, there's only so much that could have been done for Eddie and, and Benoit, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you know, just that lifestyle, man, I'm telling you, that's like, I'm not like me personally as somebody who's training to be a wrestler is like you know you you learn about so many cautionary tales from all these guys who have wrestled in the past to where it's like now I know not to make the same mistakes as like those other guys like getting hooked on pain pills getting hooked on alcohol and shit while doing it is that lifestyle man you know be, the life of a wrestler ain't easy especially when you're on the road all the time like they are which is like, you know, why that's why I'm gonna enjoy every moment I am like, you know, on the like as far as like being in the indies. I'm gonna enjoy training, I'm gonna enjoy the indies, and you know. This may be good, but he's a fucking yeah, he was absolutely a fucking idiot. A lot like in a lot of situations. That's like he absolutely was is the best wrestling promoter of all time, but at the same time, there's a lot of like really shady things he did, and I think you can say I think both things can be true. Where yeah, he can be the best wrestling promoter of all time, but at the same time, he did a lot of really bad business. Worst thing about Owen's death was that they just went on with the rest of the paper. Yeah, bro, they should have just canceled the pay per view. They should have just canceled the rest of it. There's no way you go on from a mental stand. I feel like nowadays they would not like that wouldn't even fly. Nowadays, like they would, they what happened in the Bills Bengals game when Demar Hamlin had like his medical thing happen. They that's probably what would happen nowadays in wrestling. To end the streak is the stupidest thing I ever heard. Well, Taker wanted the streak to be over. And he wanted the streak to be over for a while. So, you know. And Taker's one of those guys where what he says goes. So if he didn't want the streak to end, the streak wouldn't end. But he wanted the streak to end. 
my personal opinion is I didn't dislike the streak ending. I just don't feel like Brock needed to be the one to end the streak. Like, you should have given that to somebody who needed that to elevate their career. Like, you could have given it to Bray Wyatt at that point. Or, you know, I know, obviously, in retrospect, he's a piece of shit now. But it's like, at the time, like, you know, you could have given it to Del Rio. You could have given it to Sheamus or somebody. Like, there's so many guys that would have been better options to give that to than Brock. And we just punted it all the way at the one. See? That's what I'm saying, bro. Bangle got some competition for this whole best punter on YouTube thing. Much love to Bangle, though. Much love to Bangle. But I might be the best punter on YouTube on the low. On the low, low. Because who else is doing that, bro? Who else? Oh, get it. Get it. Let's go. Let's go snake it. I didn't, real I didn't even realize he fumbled it, bro. I didn't even realize he fumbled it. It was Follow who forced it, too. Right, Bray should have got it. Yeah, Bray Wyatt should have been the one in the streak, not Brock. There's so many other people that you could have given the streak to. Aside from Brock. My take is that the bigger issue isn't Taker losing to Brock. It was Undertaker losing to Roman later down the line. I mean, they could have given it to Roman, too. But I also don't think Cody need to, needs to end Roman. It should have been Jay. I'm a big Cody Rhodes fan, right? It just, it's like, I'm, it's like, I'll be happy if Cody ends up beating Roman for the title. Titles, I should say. It should have been Jay or Sammy. It should have been Jay or Sammy. Especially with how hot Sammy is now. It should have probably been Sammy. There we go, Slater. I also don't think Cody need to... Oh, I read that right. Big Cody Rhodes fan, too. But, yeah, like... I love me some Cody Rhodes. I just don't feel like he needs to be the one to beat Roman. Or he need to be the one to beat Roman if he does. Like, I think it probably should have been Sammy. Like, you were not going to get Sammy Zayn. And I get that Cody was, like, the, the one that they planned on having him face at Mania in the first place anyways. But, come on now. They should have accounted for somebody else stepping up. Sammy yes, Jay, because that's where it all started. I feel like at some point, when the bloodline finally breaks down, Jay is going to get a win over Roman, though. Like, when Roman decides he wants to go to Hollywood like Cena and Rock did. It's just funny. It's always everybody who, like, you know, it's always the motherfuckers who talk about, oh, like, you ran away to Hollywood. Who ended up running away to Hollywood? Cena did the Rock. Well, Rock did it to Hogan first, kind of, in a way. Not as, like, directly as Cena and Roman did. But it's like, then Cena did it to Ro The Rock, and then Roman said it to Cena. Moxley said it to Cena as well, but Moxley's still wrestling, so. And it's like, he's still, like, wrestling a regular schedule, too. I'm pretty sure, and I'm not even pretty sure, like, I know, uh, Blackpool Combat Club finally turned heel, like, officially, it seems. Oh my god, they're just having a rough time of it right now. Alright, y'all. Uh, this game looks like it's gonna be another blowout. I mean, it already is a blowout. We're up 42 to 7, but give them fours up, y'all. Alright, let's actually sub some people out. I think Rollins should be the face all day, every day. Way better than Ring and on the mic than Roman. Way better than Roman or KO. I mean... We gotta put some respect on Kevin Owens, though. I'm just saying. KO is him. You gotta pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls. For I don't think Kevin Owens gets like nearly as much respect as he should get, though. That's just my personal opinion. But I mean, Seth Rollins is great. Don't get me wrong, but 
you know. And honestly, I'm low key kind of looking forward to his match with Logan Paul. Logan's definitely like hate him or love him. Logan Paul has definitely showed that he can like hang in the ring. Now, should I, should he have gotten a match against Roman Reigns as early as he did? Probably not, but you know, it is what it is. They're just trying to like, you know. At the same time, Logan has so much star power now that it's like he's like one of the most over people overall. I mean, man, or KO, my bad. Rollins or KO should be the faces, 100%. Oh, that's a bad throw, Moran. Alright, let's kick this field goal. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. Oh my god, I can't kick the field goals for shit, bro. <laughs> Harmon is just struggling to kick field goals or anything like that. It's four to nine. Opinion on Braun Breaker. It's funny as hell. It's like he's Rick Steiner's son, but he gives off a lot more Scott vibes than Rick. Not that that's a necessarily bad thing. I'm just saying, like, it's just an observation. And it, honestly, somebody brought this up. If Goldberg has, like, a retirement match, I think Braun Breaker should be the one to retire him. Seth Rollins is in the position that I think Chris Jericho was when he last was in WWE, where he doesn't have to compete in title matches. He collects after other, other uh, talent without diminishing himself, which is why I like him so much. I mean, that's basically what he did for, like, the past year. Like, he's just been putting people over like crazy. That and a Goldberg wannabe. I mean, he's very similar to, to Goldberg style-wise, but he's he just seems to be, like, a lot safer, I would say. Yeah, four to nine is ridiculous, bro. It's like the Sabres are like right in the wild card hunt, and they just cannot seem to get a win. Biggie wasn't injured for him. I'd want him to get that final match with Goldberg. I mean, Biggie would definitely. Be, I'm sure Biggie would be down, and there's like some history there as well. So you started trying to watch hockey recently. Yeah, I've been paying attention to it a little bit. Like, I have, like, the score bot in here to show me, like, the scores for the Sabres and Wizards, but I don't know. The Sabres are a good, they're a good young team. They got to get it together, bro. Can't be getting blown back by the stars like this. And Darren Coleman is hurt for the Lobos. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case... With the slot guys covered by the line. Give the man his big meaty man slapping meat moment. Hey, facts. You're a Red Wings fan. Oh, I I know one other Red Wings fan. My guy Mo from my boy uh, Clone Fans community. Uh, Red Wings for life. Oh, yeah. As Guardians also a Red Wings fan as well. No, quite a few Red Wings fans then. I am a Sabres fan, as you guys, can, as you probably can tell. W. <laughs> yep, Sabres have been so bad for so long. It's hard to really like bask in this moment where they're actually a playoff contender. Like they're like a on the outside looking in right now. Ooh, ooh, look at Moran. Look at Moran. He gets it away to call you. What a play. Fire a backup quarterback. Moran was just dancing around there a little bit. And Collier just got free. He's like, fucking him up. He said, fuck it. Gabriel Collier is out, out there somewhere. Like, he dodges this dude. And he gets picked up. He gets pancaked right here by my man's number 54. 
Moran runs away here. Probably could have scrambled if we wanted to, and then he just lets it fly instead. I like NASCAR the most. I just never really have been able to get into NASCAR like that personally. You met the team in person three times. Good shit. I tried to juke, <laughs> juke that guy out too. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. It's out for two quarters with a dislocated shoulder. You hate to see it. It's just loud and fun. I feel that. It's just not my cup of tea. Football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. There's Hughes, Othello Hughes gets the first. I do some motion here and try to confuse the deep. I'm gonna shut it down for the night. Work in the morning. Best of luck with all your streams tonight. Lucky, I appreciate you, bro. You have yourself a great rest of your night. Try to have a good day at work and try not to slap a bitch unless you need to. This is where you just go with what you know the best. My girlfriend only like a couple week week ago learned that NASCAR race, racers go in a circle. She thought they always saw them taking the left turn. Yeah. It's not like, you know, na a Need for Speed or Gran Turismo or Forza where it's like you just, you're just on the actual track. Tell your kids that this is I'm just, indie car racing, I think, like you have like an actual track. If I remember correctly. Damn. I was trying to juke him out. No slapping. Ain't no one there worth losing my job over. I feel you, fam. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. Good block. Somebody has to get open. I'm just going to fucking scramble it. Moran with the carry. One yard gain on the play. I'm so fucking trash. Long yarded situation. Just take the snap and wing it. I'm not actually trash. I'm trash. I'm not like drunk trash. I'm like tired trash, I guess. Oh, that was a bad throw. NASCAR has road courses too. They're not all. Yeah, that's fair. Andy and F1 do road courses more or less. Andy does some ovals. I got you. Just gonna try a field goal again. Let's see if you can get one, Harmon. And he did it. Let's go. Even have a sign pick of Steve Eiserman and Justin. Abdul Cater. Hell, NASCAR is on the Chicago street races here. Ooh. Chicago street race. Well, we're going to walk out of here with another W. When I walk out of here with a dab you. Oh, Slater's playing defense now. Okay. I'm almost on rookie cards of the team. A, little, a book with all the players and what their jobs would have been if they weren't on the wings. Oh my god, get him. I don't know why he didn't just take the first, but okay. Uh, way more to NASCAR than a circle, just like most sports. Nah, I'm hip. There's definitely like a lot of like, you know, mechanics and whatnot. Just like knowing when to like 
have a pit stop when to like do certain things. I'm hit. Look at this pimp. Well, look at this real tight spot pimp. This is the tight spot. How are you doing, tight spot? Welcome in, my boy. Excuse me. Oh, good tackle. Doing all right. Good to hear, bro. How was your day? How many more games you plan tonight? I might play the Utah game. If there's an, if you guys want me to play Utah, I'll do it tonight. I was going to switch over to Pokemon. Oh, wow. He actually caught that. Okay. I was going to switch over to the Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke, but I might just play one more game. This. One game away from being a 10-teamer. Northfall Stick down one and a half. Ooh. Norfolk State. Uh, tight spot. Did you see the uh, franchise reveal for MLB The Show 23? By the way, I didn't get to like see much of it. Like I'm not like huge into baseball, but I might get the show this year. How I got all that stuff was my grandfather knew his family. He elite coached Justin on the baseball team. Same with his dad. Sheesh. Well, it's always good to have connections, bro, as you can see. And we get called for clipping again. These, this is why you guys aren't starters. This type of shit right here. Poof. Straight up you got. All right, that is going to do it. We got a 45 to 7 victory over the Lobos of New Mexico. Victory is ours. Yes. 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 Yeah. Let me let me chill out. That was light work right there though. Have a good stream. Have a great stream, bro. Well, thank you, Mr. Dirty Casual. How you doing, my guy? The dirtiest of casuals. Alright, let's take a look at these stats. <laughs> Alright. Follow went 13 of 18, 177, two touchdowns. Another day in the office for him. Alex Moran went three of six for 46 yards. Zach Burns, 88 yards and two touchdowns on 21 carries. Trent Slater with 54 yards and two touchdowns on 10 carries. And Goran had five catches, 19 yards. Good Lord. 21 had a touchdown. Hangle McCringleberry had a touchdown as well. Devin Vala had eight tackles. Ricky Marion, two tackles for a loss and two sacks. Slater had a sack as well, so did number 94. No picks. We did recover two fumbles, though. Ball of force, two of them. So, easy dubs for us. <laughs> and they put their... Oh, yeah, their QB was hurt for a little bit. Number 21 had their lone touchdown. And just a rough day to be a Lobo. It's a rough day to be a Lobo. Alright. So hopefully we'll be ranked after this game. Because Lord knows. Waiting a minute to get ranked. Damn, they had both their strong safeties get hurt. That's wild. Alright. 
right, we're advancing the week. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to go do more launch. They won 10-4. to 4. Hello? That is wild. Damn, Sabres. Y'all got to get it together. 10-4. to 4. That is just ashy right there, bro. 10-4. That is just all types of ashy. How do you lose a game 10-4 to 4 like that, bro? Be a goddamn shame to yourselves. Alright, I'm gonna go do some laundry. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Keep it locked, y'all. Talk amongst yourselves. Have some conversations with one another. Get to know each other and whatnot. You feel me? Yeah, we'll be back. I'll be back, y'all.
All right, we back. We back and we back. And we're going to play one more game of NCAA before we switch over to Pokemon. Let's get it. We're going to take on Utah. We're finally ranked, guys. Let's go. We're finally ranked. Texas A&M's ranked number one. Wow. What kind of world are we living in? I'm sure ca uh, Dirty Casual is very happy about that, though. And number two is Georgia. Beasts and Lucky you definitely got to be loving that. And, uh, you, NC State's number three of all teams. Good Lord. Oregon beat USC. Um, let's see who else lost. Penn State beat the crap out of Michigan. Texas A&M beat Missouri. And Virginia and Virginia Tech both lost. Clem sucks beat Virginia. Good lord. Maryland lost. Now we're number 25. Let's go. Nebraska and Pittsburgh must have lost as well. Where are we at in the media poll? We are number 14 in the media poll. Right, we just got to keep on climbing, boys. Let's see where we're at in bull rankings. And we're like not even 15. Well, we're trying at least. Brock Hood. He's a hood ninja. He's a hood rat. Am I right? Ha ha ha. Damn, 55 to 52. What a game. We got Utah next. We got the Utes. They're 1 and 3 on the season. They have a new quarterback since Alex Smith is gone now. The Utes. And another game that isn't televised. Oh my god, they have a. C plus defense. We're about a feast on these fools. We're about to eat them alive. We're about to eat them alive. We're about to eat them alive. I don't know. Yeah, after this game, we're switching over to some Pokemans. I didn't even realize there was a Nintendo Direct today either, bro. God damn. I gotta get my shit together, y'all. Do I even have anybody in here from Ki uh, on Kick? Kick people talk to me. What is good? Aiden Ross is live right now. Aiden Ross. Mm. Yeah, no viewers on Kick right now. That's kind of tragic. Kick does not seem like a very sports game friendly platform. I will say that about them. But even when I play Pokemon, I don't get anybody in there either. So maybe I just suck. I don't know. Either way, time to beat the Utes. Time to run over the Utes. Good tackle. Still have not lost a conference game in this series. Oh, got me with the fullback dive. Pennington. 
No relation to Chad, I don't think. Ah. Uh, right, their offense is pretty good. Bravo. Good defense, big shoddy. They're trying to yeet to win right now. Trying to yeet it. I right, can tackle follow. Third and two. Let's go goal line against their goal line. Philar299, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Cray Click. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, they thought it was. He ain't going nowhere. Let's go. Doing well. Just watching your Falcons franchise on YouTube. You just got to 500, but interested to see where it goes. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I actually don't really play Madden 23 anymore, but I do have a series in Access Football 2023 and a series in Legend Bowl you should check out as well. But I appreciate you checking out my Falcons franchise, though. Oh, my God. Burns with a nice shoe. Definitely appreciate the love, Philar. I mean, plus, I want to suit. Like, uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Just here to hang out. I appreciate you, fam. How's your night going so far? Oh. Axis series is fire. I appreciate you, ESG. Yep, next episode is going to come out on the uh, over the weekend, so keep your eyes out for that. Wasn't feeling that well this morning, so I took the day off back at it tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like the change in weather has just been messing up everybody, like, as far as, like, being sick and whatnot. It's always that time of year where, like, March starts getting warmer and everybody's, like, getting sick and whatnot, so I hope you feel better, bro. If you didn't get the first, we're going to go for it. Yeah, we're going for it. No problem, bro. No problem at all. All right, that kind of worked out as a Kaz special. Definitely worked as a, re a regular sneak, but, you know. Oh, that worked. Missed these old school graphics. I was playing NFL Blitzer the other day. NFL Blitz is always, always fun. I have an, I actually have NFL Blitz 2003. So if anybody ever wants to watch me play that game, I sure could. Oh, that was a risky pass. But I didn't really have anywhere to go with it, so I was like, you know what? Might as well try it. You just go with what you know the best. Oh, I tried to throw it. <laughs> it wouldn't let me. You kick it here. I mean, I kind of have to kick a field goal from here. I could just go for it, but what's the point? 
All right, Harmon. You got this, bro. I believe in you. Oh, no. He's going to miss. Just can't make these damn field goals for some reason, bro. How do you think the Titans uh, do this coming? I mean, honestly, this is like really an off season where we re we really have to see how they do in the off season for me like before I like really come to any conclusion. But you know, we'll see what happens. I'll let Seager kick field goals now. See if that changes anything. Oh. Come on, Walker. I assume you're a Titans fan from the layout of your logo and the thing behind you. Yeah, I am a big Titans fan, actually. We'll see, though. I mean, it really just depends on how the offseason goes. You're a Falcons fan. I feel you. Yep. So do you, do you want the Falcons to go get Lamar? Been a struggle bus. I feel you. I definitely feel your pain on Mariota, but, you know. You know. Michael, honestly, Michael Pruitt did his thing. Falcons, Ravens, and Titans are your faves, to be honest. Fair enough. That is fair. Michael Pruitt definitely balled for you guys after you lost Pitts. Oh, get it. Let's go, 21. Let's go. So you're saying no to Lamar. I got you. I think the Raiders would be the best fit for Lamar. Probably. It's not like they have anything else at quarterback right now. Cannot get the ball away at all. I hate it here. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. Ritter played very well in his last three games at our key players, so we'll see how he does the next season with a healthy team. Facts. Oh my god, that didn't work at all. You gotta execute in this long routed situation. Take the snap. Yeah, I like Desmond uh, Desmond Ritter a whole lot. We'll see what he does next year. Damn, my other receiver almost caught that. All right, well, we're going to punt it. Don't know who we get at for wide receiver. You'll be interested to see. London definitely looked good at, at times. Just got to get him some help, honestly. Oh, crap, baskets. 47 yard punt. Touchback. It was a good try. He needs to play smarter, forces a lot of plays that end he ends up fumbling. Yeah, I feel you. Ooh, I thought they were gonna give me for PI for a second. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Big dog, big dog. Hot. Oh, my God. Come on. Finally have cap space and don't want to see it all go away on Lamar, but that's just me. Respect. I mean, out of all the teams that basically said no to Lamar... It's like, I, I think I blame you the least because you have, you guys have, I mean, obviously, yeah. Would Lamar be an immediate upgrade over Ritter? Sure, but it's like, if Arthur Smith's already committed to, like, building his team around Ritter and seeing what he can do, well, you can't really say much to that. Give me that. That was too easy. Just throw him a pot fly, bro. The offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. 
The UNLV Rebels take over at the 30 second line. First and 10. Right, we could throw to Burns. Let's go. Burns makes the catch. Gain of eight on the play. You got to go out there and compete. Be a, Be a competitor. competitor. Seven to three now. Lost two straight on for it. It's Agassi. Good catch underneath. Number 83 with the reception. Gain of six on the play. I run the misdirection counter and play with the defense. The run game played last year with Algier becoming a beast. I think we're, with a solid receiver and pits back, we're going to play smart. We can do well. I definitely can see it because you guys weren't that far out of the playoff race. And honestly, if you bench Mariota a little sooner and go with Ritter, and if you, they would have, like, you know, let Algier get more carries early on, I feel like y'all probably would have won the division, low key. God damn it. You need to be less aggressive with threes. Bro, that's a rough part of like the 2K games. Once you start feeling like you're getting hot, or like once you fall behind by a little bit, all you want to do is just chuck threes. And obviously, like, it's really hard to do that successfully. My god, bro. I was getting screwed by the refs in late in two games. Yeah, that true. That too. That too. Oh, come on. Is that Mario to heck QB? It might be. Second and ten. Ball on the twenty-six yard line. Think Jets land Rodgers? They could. I mean, Rodgers certainly would be better than what they have at quarterback currently, but I don't know. That man just didn't look like he was interested in playing at all last year. Oh, give me that pick, bro. That man was just ready to get out of Green Bay last year. Damn, Walker got punished. He's just retired, in my opinion. Feels like he's just ruining his career near the end of it. If he, yeah, exactly. He's pulling up Brett Favre now. There we go. Sit down. And of course they're going to go for it. Why not? Why the fuck not, Curtis? Why the fuck not, Curtis? Oh my god. Really? Every sack he, he takes, he gets back up so slow and people think he's hurt. Even Brady pops back up exactly. Oh crap. That's a touchdown. God damn it. Alright, Utah has the lead now. Am I worried? Not really. We just have to play good offense now. Oh, I thought I'd get a block. Hope, hope the Brady going to Dolphins rumor just stays at that. Yeah. Brady's arm is cooked at this point. 
start the drive at the 27 yard line. First position. Come on, Burns. Thought you had the edge there, yeah. It looked like it, but then that guy was just hiding behind his teammate. Man's was just hiding, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Wow. I got what I could there. On the carry. Gain of two on the play. As a quarterback, you gotta be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. Second and eight. Ball on the 45 yard line. Goran. There we go. Who's my basketball team? Unfortunately, the Wizards. <laughs> Wizards are a hot mess. Even if they somehow get into the play-in, they're probably going to not even get to the field of 16. I mean, they're just so inconsistent. It's ridiculous. Who is your team, though? I'd assume it's the Hawks. I might be wrong about that. Oh, you're the Ma the Mavs, and they need something. You don't know what they need. You don't know what, but they need something. Yeah. Clearly, I don't think Kyrie... I just don't think Kyrie's a good fit with Luka, personally. And Kyrie's like a great player, but at this point, it just doesn't seem like him and Luca are a good fit. Personally, didn't like it. I mean, I definitely see why. It's like Luca needs a player that is complimentary, and Kyrie isn't really what I would call a complimentary player. Like he kind, of, he has, he's kind of the guy that wants to be the top guy type shit. And it's not gonna happen. In Dallas. Yeah, Luka needed another all-star, but Kyrie wasn't him. Luka needs, like, a guy that's complimentary, though. That's, that's my thing. And that was not going to be Kyrie. Like, he needs, like, a poor Zingus that doesn't get hurt all the time. And then just, like, another, another guy who can, like, hit threes and shit. It's like he needs like a, a clutch three point shooter. He needs a glass eater at like center or power forward. And then he ne just needs like a guy like maybe a four who's just like physical as hell and is like kind of the enforcer, kind of like how Ron Artest was when he played for the Lakers. And then they definitely need some bench, like some like more dependable people on the bench too. We will barely make the playoffs, and it's up to chance. I mean, the West is wide open, in my opinion. I feel like you could make a case for any of the. I mean, the fact that the Kings are the number two seed right now just speaks volumes of how open the West is. Oh my God, really? Handy with the second pick of the game. Let's get a safety here. We need something good to happen to us now. Ah, uh, they got some breathing room now. You can say that he's handy back there. God damn it, Goldie. What's good, Goldie? How you doing, fam? Oh, alright. Third and seven. Third and seven. Oh, Cody! Come on, dog. Dad jokes, dad joke entries. Are, hey, you do a great job of them, though, Goldie. 
Yeah. Like to show you how random we are, we played the Kings back to back. First game we won without Lucas. Luke came back, we lose. Oof. Good man. MLB the show's draft and scouting updates got me feeling good. How are you? I'm big chilling, fam. I didn't get to watch like the entire thing, but I definitely will say I might have to play some MLB the show this year. I don't know if I'm gonna do a series, but I might have to check it out. Oh, well, this was not a good idea. Same. Seems like they updated a lot. Yeah, if only EA was like them. See, Sony San Diego actually cares about putting out a good product. Goran, come on, dog. And he's hurt now. What I like about this play uh oh you have some Goran is hurt you EA you have to skip like 54 or 5 versions notice the difference facts 4 or 5 I got you nah you're absolutely right oh my god for a few years there I, I was really negative on yeah I mean they definitely weren't doing the best job they could with some of the games they were putting out but so I definitely get like why like the MLB community was getting irritated with them. They're nowhere as near. They're nowhere near as bad as like how EA is with Madden. Goran's out for eight weeks with a torn bicep. That basically means his career is over with UNLV. Lord have mercy, that is sad. That really depletes a set receiver as well. Good defense. That's a tough loss, especially for this game, too. All right, we got to wake up here, guys. Come on. All right, good defense. Number 22 on the run. One yard gain on the play. Third and nine. Ball on the 20-yard line. So are you guys going to throw it? Oh. All right, the ref kind of helped us out there. Okay. We got to, we'll put a check in the mail for that one. <laughs> we'll put a check in the mail for him on that one. All right, good return, Agassi. Grew up in Anaheim. So you're a Ducks and Angels fan with the Lakers. Was the Lakers for so long and then just dropped off after Fisher left? Got interest in Luka joined the league. That's respectable. A left tackle with the false start. That's not respectable there. Having a false start in this situation. get a bunch of yards just hitting your halfback out of the backfield and letting him run to the sidelines with it. Oh. Burns with the reception. Nine yard game. Come on, get to the line. Get to the line. Oh, good defense. Good defense. The intended receiver on the play. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. All right, third and six. Third and six.
Oh my god. Come on, bro. Falcons was just a random bet with my brother when they faced the Broncos in the Super Bowl. First football game I watched. Just stuck with them, and now here we are. I feel you. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep that defense guessing out there. 46. Oh, uh, should that that go to the sideline more? Damn, bro. Hi, mom. Send money. That's exactly what my son would say. I feel you, elite. Nice trying that punt. I got one to the one yard line last game. Oh, Cody, you got to make that play, bro. You're right there. Elite, I'm right there with you, fam. The elite. The, the elite. The elite. The, the elite. Oh, my God. We're about to go down by two scores at the half to Utah. Oh. Tried it. Sellers with the tackle. One yard loss on the play. Sit down. Run that play again. Run it again. I dare you. Run it one more time. <laughs> Dumbasses. And now they're going to eat it. Let's go, we got a sack. And now we get a chance to eat it. With one second left. It's time to find out how far your quarterback can throw it. And pray for a mirror. Oh, damn. I was trying to catch it with 89. All right, 7-0 at the half. Definitely not our best half of football. Kaz, FG. Follow this channel real quick. Uh. The Brother Franchise channel. Oh, true. Sure. Oh, you're testing and recording. Let's fly. Make sure you guys go follow FG's other account. Trophy Case CFB, where he's going to play some retro stuff. Uh, good run, Burns. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. I think they lied when they graded them as their defense. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Because they're definitely playing like a B plus at worst. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their strike. We blew out New Mexico. We blew out uh, the other team we played. Uh, BYU. We're struggling with these fools though. Agassi, what are you doing, bro? That was on the money right there. Glad on the franchise have you show some of the game footage. I'm not a fan of streamers that just sim everything and you don't see gameplay. Not my thing. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's a really popular thing to just do, like, the rebuilds. Like, I do some rebuilds, but it's like, I, I like actually playing the games, though. But I mean, different strokes for different folks. Like, people will make the content they enjoy. And that's how content creation should be. 
You shouldn't be doing things just to fit an algorithm. You should be doing things that you personally enjoy. Alright, no flag. Let's go. People just do what they love, exactly. It's like too many creators create content. And I used to be like this as well. Too many creators make content based off of like what will get them views and shit. And it's like that's why you end up being miserable with content creation. Let's go, Walker! We needed that so bad. Hey, Papa Iceman, what's good? This game old as hell, I respect it. I appreciate you popping in. You're like my first uh, kick chatter outside of my boy FG. What's good, Papa? Welcome, man. We need that so bad. We're gonna get called for clipping. Uncle Bucket, no! Bucket, why? You gotta keep the defense on. Bucket, you childish for that, bro. Shout out to my boy Uncle Bucket, though. On some real stuff. That is a terrible throw, Fala. Chillin' chillin', streaming on kick as we speak. Just checking out the other Madden streamers on here. Hey, respect, respect. It's not a lot of us on here, bro. Like, that's one thing I notice. It's not a lot of us on here, but we gotta hold it down until more people give kick a shot. Oh, pitch that shit, bro. Third and 13. That's a bunch of yards ago. I know it's the same thing. We all got to work together. Amen to that, bro. You got any socials, bro? Feel free to drop them in the chat. Like, I'm not, like, one of those streamers on kick, at least, that's going to be like, oh, my God, you can't drop your links. Feel free to drop your links if you want. Agassi, just drop that. I thought we were past this, Agassi. I thought we were past this whole dropping the ball thing. Used to stream, not really, not but not really anymore. I might get back into it. You might as well give it a shot, Phil. Papa underscore Iceman and everything. I got you, fam. That's a good point. Please muff it. Ah. All right. Defense. We need one more turnover, real quick. I did not expect Utah to give me this type of a fight, bro. It is wild. Ooh, follow with a big hit. Hit me back with a follow so we can work at getting money on this side of the stream world. Amen to that, bro. Well, let me... Uh, Alright, just followed you, bro. Oh, come on, Cody. Gotta get that pick. Dang, with a spear. Just straight up bodied him, bro. Yeah, I got you with the follow, Iceman. I'll try. I'll follow you on my socials later on as well. Oh, come on, man! How's restream? I'll say, restream is definitely clutch. I would definitely use restream. Definitely recommend it. Oh, I actually got a link if you if you want to check out restream for yourself. Yeah, check out that link if you want to join the restream. Oh my god. How is that on the pick? EA seems to just have it in for me today. Or just this week in general. Like, the game against Oregon was just dumb, bro. Oh, Cody. Got to get an interception here, my boy. Bro, there's no way. This is awesome. Glad I was born. YouTube Falcons franchise and found your videos. Thank you so much, Phil. I appreciate you. 
God, I hope Alabama's playing. <laughs> I'm dead. What's good, Cole? It feels like I'm playing against Alabama right now the whole time, the way Utah is playing right now. Sit down, ho. You gotta pay for a restream to stream to kick? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, we're definitely ha happy to have you here, Phil. If I do stream, I need a capture card. Yeah, I feel you. Definitely helps out a whole lot. Oh, McCray! Come on, big dog. Third down. Third down. Okay. As long as he didn't catch it, that's all I care about. Alright, we held him to three. Your raid settings cock blocked me. Hello? Uh, I followed you. That's wild. Ten to zip. Now nah, I definitely followed your thing though. I don't know what happened. I swear to God, I followed you. Let's go. New Twitch. Shit, has everyone set for thirty? God damn it, Twitch. Follow you on Twitter too. I appreciate you, Phil. Might do kick when I get some income. Yeah, I feel you, Papa. Yeah, like all of these platforms, like you have to like spend money to be able to restream. Like Streamlabs is the exact same way. Stream Elements is too. Doesn't accept raids from accounts less than 30 days old. Oof. Well, that's just to avoid like hate raids though. So I get it. Uh, we got to get this first. We're one for nine on third downs. This is how we were like last year and the year before. We got to get this together. Or, oh snap, do you like wrestling too? Which companies do you follow? Well, funny thing is, Phil, I, I guess I didn't mention this. I'm actually training to be a wrestler currently, so. I definitely love me some wrestling. Companies do I follow? I follow WWE and AEW. And I'm starting to follow MLW as well. And then outside of that, I at least try to keep up with New Japan. Like the goings on New Japan. I hope that all goes well for you. It's going it's going pretty decently. Like I'm learning a lot from doing it. And I just gotta work on getting better every week. Just like with anything. God, Agassi he got bodied, bro. That boy got bibbity bopped. I can't even be mad at him for dropping that. For me, it's WWE, AW, New Japan here and there. Yeah, I like keep up with New Japan, but you know, L let's go. We about to see Kaz and AW going against Brian Danielson. Hopefully, one day. Like I'm very open-minded about going to like any of these companies, but it's like I gotta get good first, and then we will get there. I might go for it if we fail this third down. Come on, 21! We got called for holding any fucking ways. Kaz versus Jay White confirmed. <laughs> I'd like to get into the ring with Switchblade for sure. Alright, we're gonna go for it. Fuck it. Kaz and Keith Lee tag team one. Bro. Keith Lee is like one of my dream matches anyways. Oh my god. Kaz and Keith Lee versus bro, we would body those little boys. Not actually. I, I definitely have mad respect for the Usos, but me and Keith Lee being a tag team against the Usos would be wild. All right, we got to lock in here, guys. We got to lock in. Ball on the 
There we go. For 22 on the carry, no gain on the play. Third and five, ball on the 47 yard line. All right, we need the stop here, guys. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Cody. Good play. Wow. With the wild lease on AEW, I think you guys are maybe Adam Cole's first match. Favorite, I, your favorite ice cream for Rainbow, sure, but that's not bad. Kaz versus MJF win. Uh, that, I mean, that could happen for sure down the line. Great thing about that's like the great thing about MJF being as young as he is. Like, definitely a lot of years ahead of him, of him of wrestling if he wants to do that. To answer your question, I have to go with any brand of black cherry with those little cherry chunks in it. So freaking good. Cherry Garcia is fire. God, I can't complete a pass right now, bro. I'm Jeff talking smack about your streams. Here we come. Facts. This is what power football is all about. You gotta be able to run. I definitely give them Jeff like a lot of ammunition, uh, ammunition, uh, ammunition to use against me in a feud with him. Good run, Burns. You gotta pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls for mercy here. Oh crap. Bro, you're throwing way too far out, bro. Throw, take some off of it, bro. Bro, 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 bro. I feel like goddamn Vince Russo, the way I'm saying, bro, speaking of wrestling. Oh my god. I love that MJF never breaks character while on camera. Facts. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options. Even off camera, yeah. Oh my god. We're not doing shit in the passing game right now, bro. Right, I'll get the fours up. We have to get something here, bro. You have to get something. Get the fours up, though. This game ain't over yet. Good hit. Would have loved a forced fumble, but I'll take the hit. We gotta get a strip here, bro. Guys, we have to strip the ball here. Gotta get a stop here. Let's go. Ooh, we got so lucky. Third down. This is a critical third down here. Okay, no PI. We can do it. Hey, Robin, I appreciate you believing. I appreciate the belief. I can see. He's right, up to the 45, so that's a good return. Now we got to do something offensively. You got to pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls for mercy here. The UNLV Rebels take over at the 46 yard line. Let's go, Burns. Good run. Burns on the Even if we just have to ride Burns. Sorry, I've been, been a fan of yours for a while now. I always catch the vids, not live. All good, Robin. I appreciate you popping in. I appreciate the support on the videos as well. 
Thank you so much. We're going to get this win. God, stay on your blocks, guys. It's a little bit longer. I think my favorite wrestlers have to be Dante Martin, Ray Phoenix, and Jay Lethal and Kenny Omega. Respect. I love Omega. God, I, we're going for it. We have to go for it now. This PS2, it is indeed. I'd rather go down swinging. You never know what will happen. Let's go. He really fucking dropped this shit, bro. This that shit I'm talking about, man. Still have time, but good lord, that was not cool. No emulator. This is a straight up PS2. Oh my god, get him! We're getting fucking fucked by EA again. That's all it is. EA is doing EA things once again. Probably gonna fucking lose now. That's a touchdown. These you know his favorite good one, Cole. Ah, <laughs> uh, this fucking game. So asinine. Ball on the 42 yard line. The AI just got EA'd, pretty much. Please t Okay. Nah, this is the point in the game where EA just makes the makes the uh, AI just absolutely OP on their side and just dopey on my on my part. Oh, come on, guys! Oh, yeah, thank you, Cody. And they're gonna go for it, of course. Good defense wire. There we go. Just playing in Serie 11 on the PS3 graphics. Well, I'll read that in a sec. My fault, bro. Graphics actually hold up. It's playable without an emulator. Nice. Good catch by Boston. There we go. I probably could have pitched that to old boy. But nah. You gotta pound it and pound it inside until the defense calls for mercy here. Ooh, we got lucky on that. God damn. Sometimes you if we're going goal line, we're sneaking it. It's always good to convert the first down and move the sticks. Ooh, okay, good, good job, Fala. Get that confidence back up. As a coach, you love mismatches. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. Come on, twenty-one. Can you do something for me? Let's go, baby. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with... We have made... We've had two possessions in the red zone. Missed a field goal and threw a pick so far. So... Can we get some points this time? I don't know. We're definitely in a situation where we're a little desperate for points this time around. Oh my god, Bra uh, Burns, whatever your fucking name is. Gotta miss the old Madden's right. We're 2 of 14 on third downs. Time to go 3 of 15, because we need this right here. Gotta kick a field goal here. 
Bring out the kick team. All right, Harmon, lock in, bro. You got this. Come on. Thank the Lord. That was so close, though. Thought it was going to go. Yeah. It was so close. He's missed, like, his last three field goal attempts, to be fair, so... Good tackle, Manning. They're going five wide. Why do I not believe them? That was close, bro. If he missed that, it's pretty much game over. So thank the Lord he made it. I hate these kicking meters back in this game. Oh, he dropped it. Let's go. Oh, my God. We got blessed. God bless. Come on, let's get a pick here, guys. Let's go! McCray with the sack. That is so, so clutch. Third down. Just gotta get a stop here. Guess they're gonna run it here. Oh, they're gonna throw. Bro, there's no fucking way. There's just no fucking way I didn't get the sack there. <laughs> I hate this game so much. There's just no fucking way. His back foot, he's about to get sacked and he's, he fucking fires a dot. What the fuck is this shit, bro? EA bullshit is back at it again with the fucking white vans. And triple coverage, mind you. Oh my goodness. We lose this fucking game. I swear to God. Alright, one more stop, guys. Come on. And they're going five wide again. I wonder what's going to happen here. Hey, Dark Knight, thank you for the follow on Twitch, bro. Oh, all right. At least it's incomplete. I would have loved to pick there. Nice bounce. All right, let's go. I'd come out throwing here. You know you got a ways to go for the first, so I just approach it like any other play. Come on, Agassi. Where are you going, bro? You were fucking high. You were smoking some kind of fucking crack rocks or something. That as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. This man is smoking fucking dick right now. Come on. 21, baby. Let's go. You gotta hurry up in this situation. I throw the ball away if nobody's open. Alright, let's go. Glad he hung on to that, right? Oh, damn. Burns took a shot. Terrible throw by the QB. Great by, read by you, but you know EA and shit. Exactly, Robin. Your hip. Oh, 
That was a little dangerous. I'd make sure that the players know to conserve time here on this pass play. First and ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. Oh, you let him move too much. As a receiver, you always want to fight for extra yardage, but you don't want to do that when stopping the clock is the number one priority. Second and ten. Come on. Agassi can suck my fucking dick for that. Agassi can suck my entire fucking dick for that. Like, he can actually suck my fucking balls for that. He wasn't even the fucking person I was throwing it to, bro. And then he catches the ball and fumbles it. He can go fuck himself at this point, bro. I wasn't even throwing it to him. I was throwing it to fucking 21. Agassi's bitch ass catches it, and then he fucking fumbles. Unfucking believable, bro. He can actually suck my fucking cock for that, bro. That is wild. He wasn't even the fucking primary receiver at all. He wasn't even who I was throwing it to. And he just decides, oh, let me kick the ball. Oh, he fumbled it. You fucking idiot, bro. Oh my god, he can suck my fucking balls for that. I'm so fucking heated, bro. This team is not even on our level, and we fucking lose 10-3 to 3 to these fucks. That's the end of the game. I have no fucking words, bro. That is wild. That is absolutely insane, the way we just lost that game. I'd honestly make the argument that that hurts a lot more than the Oregon game. I mean, can't even say I really outplayed them, but it's like we played well enough to not fucking lose to a team like this. And then this fuck nugget didn't do shit all game, dropped two passes, decides I'm going to catch a pass finally, and then fucking fumbles it like a fucking idiot. Oh my god, nah. I, Agassi can, Agassi's so lucky Gordon's done for the year. He wouldn't get playing time at all after that. There's no fucking way. I, was, I mean, that definitely was like vintage EA being scripted as fuck for sure, but that that is just fucking insane, the way that game just ended. Y'all can't tell me this shit, this game ain't fucking scripted. Like, Agassi is lucky. He's just, he's lucky. Lucky he's a freshman. He goes, oh my god, that absolutely just fucking pissed me the fuck off. And we're probably not ranked anymore. NFL is scripted, so why not college? Oh boy. I'm not touching that conversation with a 10 foot pole. I wouldn't even say the NFL is scripted, <laughs> but you know. But I know that's like the meme now, though. But. It's definitely to some extent rigged in in a way. There's it's just there's less control in the rigging, but there's definitely some level of it being rigged for sure. Like 
if you're gonna sit here and say that it's not at all rigged, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. You're in top of your opinion, but it's just like the way a lot of shit goes in the league, bro. Like it's hard to say it's not rigged for like certain teams to, like to succeed and fail. Damn, bro, we were just ranked. You're up late tonight. I mean, it's only like ten fifty three. It's not that late. What's up, Recluse? How you doing, fam? I also went to like. I also woke up late as shit too, though. Well, wait, late as shit for me. I, I should at least say. Uh no, nah, it just feels like some stuff is just right. No, nah, one hundred percent. It definitely feels like a good amount of things that happen in the NFL happen because the NFL wants them to. But, I mean, obviously it's like a hard thing to actually prove, but, you know. Coming down to your neck of the woods tomorrow for a week and a half, actually. Ooh, okay. Should grab a beer while I'm around. Hey, you have my number. We have each other's number. Just hit me up, bro. Um, I should be free Tuesday. I should be free Sunday if I don't go to the Defenders game. That's, like, still up in the air. But I should be free, like, Sunday night, Tuesday night. Well, Tuesday all day, and then Thursday-ish. Friday, definitely not, though, because I have to work St. Paddy's Day. Good old St. Paddy's Day. I we're, Well, we're receiving votes again, at least, but that was disgusting. I'm upset with how that game went. I am upset. Now we are 25th in the media poll. Tuesday all day, you say? Hit me up? Hey, just hit me up. I love that it shows the televised games even. I just wish we'd actually get some televised games. That's like what I want, but my wants and needs are eh. All right, so I'm so we're fourth in coach of the year. No return, man. Punter's not going to be there either. Our kicker's definitely not going to be there. Uh, Kemble Walker is up for the Thorpe Award. Okay. So we keep him that Butterfinger. We kind of have to because now our number two receiver is hurt. So we'll get. Do they not auto generate names back in 05? Nah. I looked it up and like there was nothing there. Like I just had to edit a few of my guys' players na player names and that's it. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say if this dude's name is Brian Danielson, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. But shit, this dude's 6'10, 252. That man's a basketball player, the fuck? All right, well, we don't have many award winners this year, so. All right, well, we're switching over to Pokemans. So if you're on YouTube, um, it actually should redirect you over to the YouTube channel. But if you're on Twitch, just sit tight. If you're on Kick, just sit tight. We'll be back. But YouTube people, uh, get ready for some Pokemans. Some good old Pokemans. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.